My name is Dr Kevin House and I'm the Director of Professional Learning and Research here at Dulwich College International. We've been required to think far more deeply about learning as a community, so looking at how do teachers deliver learning, what do they need to learn themselves to deliver in a new medium in a different way. I think it's also made us think a lot more about what it is that we uh, perhaps value, particularly with the older year children and the fact that they're heading towards collecting qualifications or credentials to allow them to go off to university. It means that really what we're facing is a model where we've kind of built a standardised industrial approach to, to assessment and we've led ourselves down a path that's, that means we've come to value what it is that we're measuring as opposed to measuring what we value. And I think in the current era, we can now pause, reflect, stand back a bit from the general day-to-day -day busyness and think more deeply about, well, what is it that learning is for? What is it that we value in learning? And then to think more carefully about how do we measure and assess whether learning is taking place. current times, if there were three key pieces of advice that I could offer to others, I would say first and foremost, the students must come first. You have to prioritise their perspective. You have to put yourself in their shoes and walk around in their space and in their time. The second piece of advice I would offer is to always be holistic in terms of your own practice. Try and identify where there are gaps in your own capacities professionally to function efficiently online and source and develop and engage with the correct professional learning to enable you to develop those capacities. And then finally, obviously in our group, we are a family of schools, so we already have the network. But even if you're in a standalone school environment, you have your colleagues always network with your colleagues, share best practices, collaborate once, twice, thrice. Some of the partners that we're working with that are utilising things like um, AI, uh, algorithmic interactions and interventions so that a student can do a personalised or differentiated content journey and then the machine learning will look at trajectories and predict trajectories based on the way they're answering to suggest what they could do next. And it also feeds that back in terms of dashboards to the teacher so it gives them the opportunity to intervene as well as the machine learning to intervene and off offer up next steps for the student to accelerate their content learning. Those are types of learning that really weren't around before maybe the last two or three years. Um, that kind of content-rich environment offers far more personalization and differentiation for students that can run and work with that at their own pace. So there's a real potential and opportunity there that I think this current world we're living in has opened that potential and the opportunity to more teachers. <laughs>